we're supposed to be painting, but looks like Marcy's having dessert first. I'm dishing you up dessert because it's hot. I know, that's what I was thinking. I was like, man, if we go do this project, we're I not going to be able to have dessert. I made Colonel brownies because he likes brownies. I do like brownies. They're probably my favorite dessert. It's the only dessert you like. Yeah. That's Pretty true. Like, <laughs> he'll try everything else, but there's not very many <clears throat> desserts. He goes back for seconds or goes back by <clears throat> multiple days in a row. Yeah. So we got brownies and vanilla ice cream. Thank you, Mars. You're welcome, Mars. We also did smoke a cobbler the other day, and we ate that. That was freaking that was delicious. So, yeah, that was another meal that was good. But we are going to be working on a project today. Me and Marcy are doing it together. All the kids are asleep. Hopefully they stay asleep. Should, they should. It's we shall loud. see. Yeah, it isn't going to be that loud. So we will uh, eat our dessert and then show you guys what we're doing. Well, that was a good little treat. Thanks, Mars. You're welcome. Anything for you. I usually have dessert after the work is done, but I guess we're cheated today and had it before. I needed to motivate you. <laughs> that demotivated me. I'm ready to go to bed now. <laughs> oh, I get so tired at night, especially when it gets dark early. Does anybody else have that? Where like, if it gets like in the winter when it gets dark late or dark early and light late, you just don't want to do anything during those hours? Yeah, that's me. During the summer, I'll wake up at like five thirty and be just fine. Now I wake up at seven thirty and still want to sleep. So yeah, I feel great. like it also doesn't help with the twins. Yeah, the twins obviously make it a way harder. So this is what we are going to be painting Finally. from here to here. No, we're going to go all the way down. Okay, go to the corner. Okay, we're going to the corner. But we need to take down the door because we need to paint it. And we're going to need to put the trim in all around it and stuff like that. So that's going to be coming here shortly in a quick video. But we have to take that down to paint. So we're going to go ahead and do that first. Marcy's picked up a bunch of the toys. We're going to kind of pull everything away and uh, make it so that we can get this painting done. Hopefully we have enough paint. I didn't even look to see if we have any of the color paint. I think this is it. I think you just bought some. Oh yeah, I bought a gallon or so. When nuts five gallons. It's not full. Yeah, but you said I bought a gallon. Yeah. You bought five gallons. No, I dumped it in there. Oh. To mix them together. Okay. So let's go ahead. Let's get all this moved. I mean, well, what are those three gallons? I don't know. I don't know either. I'll tell you what. We are both ready for the boys to start walking because then we can get rid of these walkers. These walkers take up so much stinking space. And, uh, like, they're great. But, man, you have them in the kitchen and there's no room. And my ankles. I feel like I have calluses where they just ran. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Okay, let's see what this is. This is ultra white. That's not the wall color. I think this is the baseboard color, maybe. Hopefully that is the, this is the wall color, no? Alabaster's the wall color. I know, but I'm saying this looks like the wall color. I like that doesn't it. look white. Oh yeah, right here. Wall, you can barely see it. Well, maybe go grab me a marker and I'll rewrite it. Yeah, that's a good idea. We're just about ready. Marcy's getting the calendar ripped off. I'm excited to be able to put an outlet cover an on outlet there. outlet cover everywhere. And on there. Yeah, we've had like everything covered. Well, this one has like the little stopper, but we've had everything covered. I have to say the transition between these two floors looks absolutely amazing. Uh, you did such a good job right here and it makes me so excited to have this all done. And then this whole room all done. Yeah, the laundry room. room. I don't know if it's too late to change the baseboard in here. Yeah, we still can. Let's do that. Yeah, because I, I want to insulate that and everything. Needs to be repainted. Maybe so. But we got to dust the corners <clears throat> here before we paint. There's okay. A lot of cobwebs on here. I'm going to go ahead and take down the door. <laughs> so I know a lot of you guys have talked about how you love watching the house projects. And we love getting them done. Um... I think I mentioned it on another video, but with the weather changing and stuff, it was so hot that we were doing all our inside projects. You know, we did the kitchen remodel and stuff like that. And then it cooled off, so we've been tackling a bunch of the outside projects, which if y'all have missed those videos, go check them out because the change that we've done in the backyard is absolutely insane. Um, and now we're 
kind of doing some of the inside stuff again. So it just kind of goes back and forth so we don't get burned out and, you know, as you have the says, money and the resources, we just do it. When he says we, he means him. Yeah, me burned out. This is, we were talking about this, I think this is the first time Marcy's helped me paint on the entire house. Okay. And we have, it's 90% painted. It that depends on what you classify. Okay, yeah, yeah. She hasn't because done a paper. She's she's okay. And I mean it as she takes the kids usually when I'm painting. Oh no, I was just oh. gonna say I was in the room while you painted the little half wall in the twins' room. Ooh, I moral support. In, I filled in all the holes. It wasn't like there was it was a half a wall, you guys. Like there wasn't a ton to do. Okay. This door's actually pretty heavy. Looks good, Mars. I'm bummed we have to take this thing down again. Why? Just gotta put the baseboard on it. Man, I haven't been over here in a long time. Which means Marcy does the laundry, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to like trim in the door, trim in this door, put your cabinet and stuff up. What? You're not excited about it? Oh, I am so excited. Do you want to know the funniest part? I don't think we've touched the laundry room since January. Yeah, since we did. It's probably been a year. Like, since oh, no. we did. Okay, but, uh, I was just thinking. Is that still going? Yeah. Okay, I was just thinking about this today. I was thinking about our first, like, excursion as a family. Like, the first time we, like, went somewhere with the twins. And, like, it, I remember it being all three of us. It was when we went into Ikea to pick up the butcher block. Like, oh, that was the right. first time, it was Christmas, like, the week of Christmas, we went into Ikea, picked up the butcher block for, go check out the laundry room video, because it's so cool, yeah. for the countertop and the bench, and that was, like, the last thing we did in there, and yeah. we haven't touched it since, like, January, except for when Crandall fixed the washer and got electrocuted twice. Yeah, that also happened. <laughs> <laughs> so, we have touched the laundry room since then. All right, I'm going to go ahead and go grab my socket set and take that out. I would use my drill, but everybody's sleeping, and it's stinking loud if I use a drill on that. So I'm going to sit there and do it by hand. Do you have two? Yeah. Can I grab one? I have to say, these are some of like, the most convenient things. Wait, did you find one? Yeah, I did. Uh, this is probably going to be too big. Nope, that's all right. I feel like when I go out there to look for stuff, it's just a big guess. Like I pretend I know what I'm doing and pretend I know where I'm supposed to be looking. And occasionally I find what I'm looking for. Well, that's pretty good then. It's about as, about as good as I do. Go ahead, let's get this paint mixed up. Okay. There's that. So I think what we're gonna do is I'm gonna do the cutting and Marcy's gonna do the rolling. A mate. What do you think? Sure. Do you know how to paint? Have you ever painted before? How about you teach me? I don't really know how to either. I hate it. I figure. <laughs> you just go all in the same direction. You end in the same direction. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I said. All right. You ready, Freddie? Um. But the problem is, is I'm not as oh, I can reach. But get that corner really well, cause see how dark it is. Yeah. Is that just tape? It still looks like that. Wawa, manda. That means wait. Yeah, that means hold on a second. Wow, that looks so much better. I definitely need a ladder though because I can't get up close enough. Well, these chairs are fire. Yeah, that might work. How'd you get so good at this? 
I painted two houses. Actually, I painted like ten houses, but I painted our two houses. Our first house, he didn't paint so well. I don't think I'd count that. Okay, I just didn't ever do two coats. <laughs> Until we were moving, and then I think I did. No, you did not. Really? No. I'm sure they sit there every day and think, wow, I can see his cutting line versus his painting line. Yeah, because I did two coats with the roller, but not with the... No, brush. you did two coats cutting, one coat with the roller. Because the cutting line was darker. Huh. I thought it was the other way around. There's a spider. Do you want my duster? Yeah. I love just sitting here watching paint dry. And micromanaging you. Yeah, that helps me a lot. I'm sure it does. Look, he's wearing his paint clothes, everybody. So, well, not even like bad paint clothes. But that's okay. I mean, this shirt somehow got bleach on yeah, it. Yeah. Like I the went to second. The dentist. Oh, that's right. It was like I the had second time. root canal. And they root canal. And then oh, look at the back. They dribbled. The whatever. I guess they must use bleach on cleaning your teeth or something with a root canal. And it completely destroyed my shirt. And I still had to pay for the doctor's appointment. It was pretty dumb. <laughs> He didn't take off the $32 the guy, for the your guy, shirt. The guy was like, oh, uh, I ruined your shirt. I'll cover it. And then he never did. So that was a bummer deal. <clears throat> we don't go to that dentist anymore. <laughs> we actually don't. Not because of that, though. Because he was a little high-priced. Yeah. <clears throat> and it was super far away. Okay, Mark. As soon as I get this corner done, you can... Uh, I can start. You can start. See, I just don't want the patients to sit here. Like, I just want to go do other things. And so that's normally what happens. Is then well, I just no, leave no, you to no, it. You're just watching the kids. That too. But, um, when are we going to do this? The door frame? Yeah. Hopefully later this week. Here's a pro tip. <clears throat> if you're working on a house project with your significant other... Make sure that they help you because then if it doesn't turn out well, they can't blame it 100% on you. I don't even know what he's talking about right now. The painting. Maybe. Now if the paint don't turn out good. No, what's going to happen is he's painted the whole rest of the house. And I'm going to paint this area. And it's going to turn out so much better that I'm going to have to go repaint the rest of the house. Oh, God. <laughs> No, it should look about the same. Everything else in the house looks well, it's great. A, it's a flat color. Like, it's not, there's yeah. not that much contrast. So, it probably is a worse, like, if it was a different, like, a very different color, it would probably look, make the paint would look a lot worse. But We're going to do two coats, right? Sure. That means no. That means it's up to you once you do your first coat. I think that, yeah, let's cut that corner a little more, Crandall, over on the other side. You can kind of see through it a little. <clears throat> you know what's funny is I put like eight coats on that corner. Why? I kid you not. Because you could tell you could see through it, huh? Well, but that's the thing is you can't. It's reflections. Oh. So it looks like that, but it's not. I had another job I did for some folks before we got married, and <clears throat> they had me came, come back three times and touch up the corners like that and they weren't home obviously when I did it because they did a full house restoration they had a flood or something and uh finally they called me back the fourth time and I was like I've done this four times like I want you to be there when I do it so that you can see and I did it painted it and then after it dried it looked the exact same as it did the first four times and they're like oh yeah I guess it is just the lighting <laughs> but sometimes when your walls meet together it just it, it looks it lighter. Yeah, yeah, it looks lighter. So, when it's actually not. Okay. Should we put it on a time lapse and let it go? Well, don't you want to see my reaction to painting for the first time? Okay, let's see it. Marcy's never painted before in her life. She's painted once in her life. Oh my gosh. I've painted 
way more than Let's that. see it. I didn't make any drips on the ground, so you better not drip on the ground either. Everybody's going to wonder where your uh, drop cloth is. Oh, yeah. Great. <laughs> Do I need the drop cloth? I don't know. It depends how messy of a painter you are. I don't know how messy of a painter I am. Well, we're fixing to find out then. <laughs> the pressure's on. Do we have something? Nope. Straight how do I luck. do this? I thought you said you know how to do it. Okay. I've painted dressers and vanities and stuff just like that. Yep. Just like this. Yeah, and you want to preload the roller. Yeah. So I, you know, push hard. And, you know, not like, <clears throat> not like you're trying to push through the paint tray, but. Why do you want it to flip over to the other side? You got to time the swing just right. Oh, bloody. Now you're holding that paintbrush at an angle when you put it in there, so see how one end has paint on it and the other one doesn't? You gotta go straight. <clears throat> Alright, well we're gonna be here all night, so thank you guys for joining us. Grab your bowl of popcorn and uh, stay tuned. <laughs> Why won't you hold me? Am I doing it right? Okay. <clears throat> this is typically why I do the projects myself, because... You know, sometimes it's just quicker. You tell me never to go to the top. Look at all that paint. Oh, I have wasted. never said that in my life. You totally have. Wait, what are you doing? You I'm just take I'm over. just doing it. You always take over. Come on. Wait, why are you taking over? Come on, this is so romantic. Put your hand on mine. Put your hand on my hand. You gotta learn how to roll. Uh, shorty, you're gonna have to jump or something. Oh, what's that? Chunks. No, that's drywall. That's texture. It's supposed to be like that. Uh, no. <laughs> There's literally like a giant chunk. I think it looks good. Crandall, okay. take it off. Do you so have a knife? No, I don't. Did you like that pat down? Did you learn how what I'm what well, you're supposed I, to do? I didn't figure out the rolling part over there. Oh my gosh, just go roll it. Uh, wait, is it ready to be re-rolled? Yep, it's ready to be re-rolled. You can well, do about a foot and a half. Okay. A foot. That's how much I did. From there to there. <laughs> Got it? Hold on. Did I do it? You want an even coat of paint on the whole roller. I don't know if I got an even coat of paint. You end, see how you're you gotta end when you when you finish doing that. So like you're dipping it, you're dipping it, you're dipping it, and then your end, you don't want to dip it. So you stop before so that it doesn't drip off like that. Okay, question. What way did you end? I you always go top to bottom. So you just slop it on there, get it on there. And, and then as soon as you're done, you come back. How far down do I go? Go, yeah, as far down as you can. The baseboard will cover up the bottom so you don't have to get the bottom bottom. Like that? Yep. And now I go. Well, do your whole section. Oh. So just, yeah, keep going. And you can go all the way over. Up and down. Get it worked in there. And then when you think you've got it, you just start on one side and overlap and go. Like this? Yeah. Golden. And then when you get a whole section, I usually will like try like now, since that whole section is done, I would do a quick, kind of a, just a quick one top to bottom. And, and don't do that. Just, you gotta just do it in one go. So now I'll restart? No, it's fine. But you just, just, yeah, just go in one go. Well, what about right yeah, here? Yeah, you have to stop on an outlet. There you go, Marcy. You got it figured out now. Start over. 
Rinse Oops. and repeat. You got like 30 more feet to go. I'm not gonna have enough paint. Yeah, no, it will dump some more in there for you. Well, it's looking good. I got my job done. It's all cut in around all the corners and everything. Marcy's about halfway done with her first wall. And it's looking pretty good. I honestly don't know if it's really going to change the fill in here at all. Like, I, I don't... I think it will. You think it's a big enough change to, I like... I think it's a big enough space. Like, the barn door is going to look so good on a painted wall. That's true. And I think the bigger change will be when we actually do put the trim up around the door and everything. Yeah, like, this looks it, good. It, it, won't be construction like you hide the, the construction yeah. in there yeah and then no other construction is visible i mean we're obviously missing baseboards around most of this area oh, here but here. Will you get, it? get it mars wow yes. good job i need you to come wipe the wall off uh thanks what if i just lick it off oh i <laughs> so now I'm just the supervisor. I'm just going to sit here and nitpick everything Marcy does, make sure that it's done right. You missed a spot. Right there. No, right there. How does it look? No, it looks pretty good. Can I really only do a foot and a half? Yeah, pretty much. I like to be liberal in my paint coats. I just heard somebody hooping and hollering over here saying she's done. Wow, Mars. That does look pretty dang good. I also touched the ceiling. What? You're going to have to pull out the ceiling paint now and paint the ceiling. It was an accident. I slipped. Where? Oh, shucks. Well, that's a good reminder, Mars, that you painted this wall. I slipped. <laughs> Can you fix it, friend? I'll have to pull out the ceiling paint. It's okay. You need to fix that whole thing and that whole thing and that whole yeah, thing. Yeah, that's true. Let's show them this. Colonel tried to... No, it was just like that. And I never... I forgot to repair it because you never see it. Well, you never see it unless you stand over here, which I never stand over here. Is my eyes like so. watering all of a sudden? Yeah, it's probably all the paint. The fumes. But... Well, yeah, it looks like good. This whole thing. Yeah, there's a couple little spots, I guess. And so. you wanted me to do the laundry room. Well, Mars, I say you did such a good job. I promote you to paint the laundry room. You have to retexture it. Congratulations. Don't you have to retexture it? Yeah. I need to texture it. Oh. Well, please texture it better than these ones. <laughs> these ones are pretty textured. I think I like it a little in the medium. A little less textured. Or just tell me to come sand it. Okay. We can, we'll compromise. Well, y'all, I think that's going to do it. I mean, we could show you guys doing a whole nother coat of paint, but that's pretty boring. But, um, I kind of got paint all over the floor and all over your face. No, I don't think I got paint on my face. Oh, wait, I looked in the camera to see if I could <laughs> see it, but I can't see it. No, you didn't get any on your face. Okay, that is enough, <laughs> Mars. <laughs> oh my gosh. It looks good, well, except for when I painted right here, I was dumb and I like painted over the thing. Oh, it doesn't matter. Well, then I had to pick freaking drywall out of the. Oh, house. yeah, that does suck. <laughs> but a bug came out of that one. Really? Like an ant. Huh. Pretty gross. Well, y'all, I think it turned out great. We're uh, gonna call it a night. As you can tell, we're both exhausted, ready to go to bed. But I think it turned out just as good as it could, I guess. I mean, it's just painting a wall, so <laughs> nothing terribly exciting. I'm going to be adding the trim to this door, hopefully in the next like three or four days. So y'all stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video and we will see you on the next one.